Affairs Minister Major General Kahinda Otafiri that has questioned how the implementation of the digital number plates shall be executed. Otafiri asked members of the Physical Infrastructure Committee of Parliament to establish from the ministers responsible for overseeing the project to elaborate how it shall operate. His concern comes from a benchmarking report by the police from which the contractor joint stock global security company indicated that the number plates were being produced in Poland whose relations with Russia have been cut off over the war in Ukraine. And uh, I will now invite you, Honorable Minister, to address the committee on those three matters and any other matter uh, that you would want this committee to know regarding the digitalized number plate and the joint stock, uh, joint stock company, Global Security. I welcome you, Honorable Minister, once again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Honorable Members. I don't want to pretend that I know much about this project. The first time I got to know about this project, other than from the press, was when Mr. Wavamuno wrote to me complaining about the shutdown of his business in favor of uh, joint stock. And he was suggesting that they could work jointly. I called the permanent secretary, and the permanent secretary told me he didn't have anything. He didn't know anything about the project. So I wrote to the president, and I suggested to him that it would be a good idea if the Russian company worked with the current manufacturers of number plates in Uganda and explored the possibility of putting their chips on the number plates in, in Uganda. And uh, I intimated to him that it would be a bit sensitive for us to shut down a local manufacturer in favor of importation of number plates when we can do it here. Or if there are any difficulties, we could see how to overcome them. I will never receive a reply. I, don't, I, I doubt whether the president ever saw that communication. Then the next time, I got a report from police officers who went to do due diligence about the company in Russia, they highlighted two things. That what they saw was a system for large fleet management. That's in the report. If you want, I can share the report with the committee. That this was a system for large fleet management and that has never been ro enrolled, enrolled anywhere else in the world, and that Russia itself does not use that system. 